The future of high-speed rail in the United States is taking shape through ambitious projects like Brightline West and the High Desert Corridor. These initiatives aim to revolutionize travel by creating a seamless, efficient, and environmentally friendly rail network connecting Southern California, Las Vegas, and potentially the broader Western region. By addressing challenges such as urban sprawl, traffic congestion, and climate change, these rail systems are poised to redefine transportation across the Western United States. Brightline West, a privately funded $12 billion high-speed rail project, will connect Rancho Cucamonga in Southern California to Las Vegas along a 218-mile corridor primarily paralleling Interstate 15, with electric-powered trains capable of speeds up to 200 miles per hour. Brightline West is designed to provide a sustainable, fast, and reliable alternative to car travel. Key aspects of Brightline West include travel efficiency. The system will cut travel time between Southern California and Las Vegas to about 2 hours and 10 minutes, significantly faster than driving, which often takes over 4 hours due to traffic. Sustainability Goals As an all-electric rail system, Brightline West aligns with California's ambitious environmental goals by significantly reducing greenhouse gas emissions and promoting clean energy. Economic Impact the project is expected to create over 40,000 jobs during construction and operation while boosting tourism and business connectivity in both regions. Planned completion by 2028 comes as public interest in high-speed rail continues to grow, offering a viable alternative for leisure and business travel between two major economic hubs. The High Desert Corridor, or HDC, project is a proposed 54-mile high-speed rail line that will serve as a vital link between California's emerging high-speed rail network and Brightline West. Running between Palmdale and Los Angeles County and Victor Valley in San Bernardino County, this corridor will connect the California high-speed rail system to Brightline West, enabling seamless travel across the state and into Nevada. Palmdale is set to become a critical transportation hub where the HDC will intersect with California high-speed rail. The state's flagship rail project, which aims to connect San Francisco to Los Angeles and Anaheim, is progressing through its Central Valley phase, with future plans to extend to Southern California. Also, Metrolink's Antelope Valley Line will provide additional commuter rail options, further integrating the region's transit network. The HDC is designed to traverse mostly undeveloped land, ensuring minimal disruption to existing infrastructure. Highlights include a large viaduct crossing the Mojave River to connect Victor Valley and Palmdale, and integration with Brightline West at Victor Valley Station, creating a unified high-speed rail experience. In line with California's zero-emission goals, the HDC rail project will exclusively use electric-powered trains, further reducing the state's carbon footprint and supporting sustainable development. One of the defining aspects of the HDC project is its focus on underserved communities. Nearly 90% of the population along the proposed route resides in low-income or disadvantaged areas. By improving connectivity, the HDC promises to shorten commutes for essential workers, reducing three-hour drives to under an hour. It will also provide access to economic opportunities by linking rural and urban centers and attract businesses to areas previously overlooked for investment. Both Brightline West and the HDC project are expected to provide substantial economic benefits during and after construction. Job creation. Thousands of union jobs will be created thanks to agreements ensuring skilled labor for construction, operation, and maintenance. Regional Investment Edakwai. The HDC alone is projected to generate $12 billion in economic activity in the Antelope Valley and surrounding areas, spurring growth in industries like tourism, real estate, and logistics. Opportunity Zones. The HDC route passes through 15 opportunity zones, promoting targeted investment in historically underdeveloped regions.
Despite their promise, these projects face significant challenges. Securing funding for the High Desert Corridor remains a key hurdle. Although Los Angeles County's Measure M provides critical financial support, leveraging public-private partnerships and federal grants will be essential to fully realize these ambitious plans. Another obstacle is public perception. High-speed rail projects in California have faced scrutiny due to delays and cost overruns. However, advocates argue that the long-term benefits reduce traffic, lower emissions, and economic growth, outweigh these concerns. The environmental benefits of these projects cannot be overstated. By shifting travelers from cars to electric trains, Brightline West and the High Desert Corridor will significantly reduce traffic congestion on Interstate 15, which sees heavy commuter and tourist traffic, lower greenhouse gas emissions, supporting California's climate action goals contribute to cleaner air and healthier communities, particularly in areas suffering from high levels of pollution due to vehicle emissions. The High Desert Corridor and Brightline West are not just isolated projects, but integral components of a larger vision for a high-speed rail network across the western United States. Once complete, this network could enable seamless travel from San Francisco to Las Vegas, passing through Los Angeles and Palmdale. Lay the groundwork for future expansions to Phoenix, Denver, and other major cities. Reinforce the viability of high-speed rail as a cornerstone of sustainable transportation in the United States. By creating a unified rail system, these projects have the potential to transform how people and goods move across the region, making the West a model for modern, eco-friendly transit. Brightline West and the High Desert Corridor represent a bold step forward in addressing the transportation challenges of the 21st century. By connecting key economic regions, promoting sustainability, and fostering equitable development, these projects promise to redefine mobility in the western United States. While hurdles remain, the potential benefits, faster travel, lower emissions, and stronger communities, make these endeavors essential for the future of American infrastructure. Together, these projects are not just about getting from point A to point B. They're about creating a new vision for how we live, work, and travel. Stay tuned as California moves closer to making this vision a reality.